OK, so there are two main ways of finding the equation of a straight line passing through two points. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the y equals mx plus c route through. OK, now this isn't the method um, that I will be continuing with uh, throughout these videos, but it still gets you the correct answer and you may prefer it. It just uh, it can take a little bit longer. And uh, if you learn the second method, often that will be faster and will be more useful to you going forward. So the y equals mx plus c route, because you've been taught about straight line equations before, you will know that you can identify m as the gradient of the straight line and C as the y-intercept. And that's what's so great about having it in this y equals mx plus c form because you can read off those two bits of information. So it's still very useful to be able to write an equation in that format. Okay, But we need to find these two pieces individually and we start off by finding the gradient of the line uh, joining these two points. So the first thing to do is to find m. So the difference in the y coordinates, so 5 take away 25, over the difference in the x coordinates, minus 2 take away 8. 5 take away 25 is minus 20, minus 2 take away 8 is minus 10, so minus 20 divided by minus 10 is 2. So the gradient of the line is 2, so therefore we can say that the equation of the line is of the form y equals 2x plus c. But we don't know c. We don't know the y-intercept. Now, in order to calculate the y-intercept, we need to substitute in one of the two original coordinates. So either A or B. It doesn't matter which one you substitute in. Both of them will give you the same value of C. So I'm going to choose to sub in A. So the X coordinate is minus 2. The Y coordinate is 5. So we have 5 is equal to 2 lots of minus 2 plus C. So 5 is equal to minus 4 plus C. So add the 4 to both sides, and so c must be 9. So therefore, our equation is y is equal to 2x plus 9. OK? And that's how you can find the equation of a line going through two points using this y equals mx plus c method. In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, the second method, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, and you'll see that it is faster and uh, more convenient to use.